Definitely do your homework, which is, you know, get to know this industry as much as you can. Do tons of reading. Understand which is, uh, which is a sector that you like, that you see yourself, you know, uh, contributing to, and you think that your skill sets will be best utilized. So do a lot of research on that. And then um, I would definitely encourage people to go and take training uh, through the educational institutions that are offering training um, so that they have, because the sector is new, there aren't too many employees that have you know, 10, 5, 10, 15 years of experience that they can bring to the sector. So almost everyone needs to go and get some kind of training done even for things which may seem very easy, for example, installation of solar panels and rooftops, there is, a, there is a, a certified course that is being offered. And I would encourage people to go and, and take that course if that is of their interest. I would also encourage people to, to go and talk to the colleges and the universities uh, in the region and find out what are the specific uh, courses that are being offered. There are courses that are being offered for wind technician training. Uh, there are courses which are being offered for installation. Uh, there are courses where, where people g will, uh, there is renewable energy training center that we have in the region that is offering courses uh, for people to just to understand the potential of the renewable energy and to, and to understand where the job creation is, what kind of jobs exist and how they can fit into, into the, uh, the, um, the, the, the entire uh, landscape of sectors which is not necessarily wind and solar but also others you know we've got geothermal uh, as a sector that is coming up we've got tidal energy uh, a sector that is coming up solar and wind uh, they definitely have you know they have got a lot of attention and um, so there is significant level of uh, resources that one can tap into and I would definitely encourage people to go and, and meet the people who are involved, you know, there is um, there's several people in our region who, uh, and companies who have diversified, you know, so go and meet those companies, understand the requirement, and it is not too different from what skill sets people have here. So, you know, people shouldn't think that, hey, this is a completely new industry and I don't know if, you know, the requirements are going to be totally different than what we are used to uh, having in this region. It's not, you know, we'll still need in this industry industrial engineers, we'll still need mechanical engineers, we'll still need manufacturing engineers, we'll still need assemblers, we'll still need welders, we'll still need electricians. So their core skills can still be used but adapted to the new requirements of this sector. So one doesn't have to, you know, relearn uh, things which they have. Uh, through their professional courses or, or uh, the training that they have taken, but they have to adapt themselves to the requirement of the industry.